Hello everyone, Mr. Drybones here, and I have another tip video for you. With Majora's Mask dropping on the Nintendo Switch Expansion Pass sometime soon, I wanted to make another short video to help players new to the game start off right with a few helpful tips. Sit back and enjoy the video, and if you have any tips of your own to share, please leave a comment. I appreciate it, and I'm sure other players will too. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this bit here might arguably be the most important. You see this guy here? He is the Clocktown Banker, and you'll see him a lot through your playthrough. As you may already know, you only have three days of in-game time to finish your adventure, and at the end of the three-day cycle, you must restart the clock. When you do reset time, not only do you lose all of your consumable weapons like bombs and arrows, but you also lose all the money currently in your possession. So in short, before you restart the 3-day cycle, try to get back to Clockdown and deposit your rupees so you can access them after you restart time. Okay, now real quick, notice anything about my screen? Pay attention to the bottom right corner. Okay, here's the next tip. This guy here is Tingle, or at least that's what he claims that his name is. Whenever you enter a new area of the game, you can find Tingle floating with his balloon. Shoot him down and he will offer to sell you a map of the surrounding area. Go ahead and buy them because the purchase maps will fill in that bottom right area of your screen, which will make it much easier to navigate areas outside of dungeons. Now don't worry, you don't have to buy maps when you get into a dungeon, you can still find those in a chest just as you would in any other Zelda game. Moving right along, before you leave Clocktown, get this mask. It's the Great Fairy's Mask. You see, inside of each dungeon there are 15 broken fairies. By finding all 15, you will heal the Great Fairy of that area and she will reward you with a power-up or an item. The mask has two functions. The long hair will shimmer if you're in a room that has a broken fairy. The second function, after you find the fairy, wearing the mask will draw the fairy to you. While this mask isn't mandatory, it's one of the easiest to get in the game and well worth getting. Finally, there are two songs in the game that are not taught to you quite like the others. This is the first song, the Song of Double Time. By playing the song, you will skip ahead to the next 12 hour increment of the day. In other words, if you play it at night on the first day, you will skip to the morning of day two. Here's what the song looks like. The second song is the song of halftime. This song will slow down the in-game timer by 30%, adding a lot of time to your three-day cycle. Here's what it looks like. I highly recommend you play this song whenever you start a new three-day cycle, especially if you're going to tackle a dungeon, because if you have to leave the dungeon and restart it, everything inside the dungeon resets too, so bear that in mind. And that's it! Some helpful tips for playing Majora's Mask for the first time. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope these tips help you conquer the game. I played this game for the first time myself last Halloween. It's a great game, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you for watching, and be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See you next game, everybody!